Welcome to the Studio African Utility Week. I'm Rose Bundock and I'm now joined by Dr. Jörg Friedel, who is Product Application Specialist, Product and Technology, Project and Technology, sorry, at Shell. Right. Welcome, thank you for joining us. Yeah. I believe you've just given a presentation uh, at the conference. Can That's you right, I just come. Fill us in on a few of the highlights. Yes, I, I reported to the audience about the new G GDL transformer oil. What gives some advantages to the end user uh, regarding lifetime security, fire security of, of transformers. And it's a unique fluid you know, uh, made from natural gas. So it's very consistent and pure. No sulfur, no oxygen. In it. It's just an hydrocarbon with very consistent quality. That I, off, uh, that I presented all the, the different features. There are some more. But these are the, the main ones, fire resistance, long life, oxidation stability. And is this available uh, currently worldwide or is it, is it something new you're yes. using? Yes, these, these fluids are all uh, Shell GDL transformer oil, the ALA S4 ZXI, uh, is available I think, since 2013. So we have some first experience, so you have to know a transformer should last 30 to 50 years, so we have first experience what are really good. And how well do you think this will this product will apply in Africa from what you, you've seen and know? Well, I think it's particularly of advantage for Africa because you have much harder operating conditions in, in Africa, much higher temperatures, which really stress the oil to the edge. Uh, when we talk in Central Europe about oil temperatures in operation of 50 or 60 degrees, you're talking here about 20 degrees higher. So this is really a, a challenge for transform oil. So do you have some existing uh, customers here, utilities that will, will kind of be using this? Uh, we're starting now. So we are in negotiation and presented it to your large national grid company. And we are moving forward to, to, all, to some other utilities. <coughs> But it's not used in the Republic of South Africa. Okay. It's used in Northern Africa and in, let's say, Eastern Africa. Maybe. And what are your impressions of the African utility market? Well, I think the South African utility market is dominated by, by your national grid company. What's, what is the case in many countries? And makes things easier and more difficult. This is, our, this is my experience from Germany. So you, when you have more companies, you have more competition, I expect. But we from, as a supplier, we have to talk to different people. So, but I really enjoy to be here and also to have the opportunity to participate on the African European Week. What gives me that, the opportunity to talk to local people responsible for your grid here. Mm. So does Shell see a lot of potential in Africa and, and the transformer market? Yes, that's why we are here. Mm. Um, we have direct business in South Africa, Egypt and Libya. And we have a, <coughs> a joint venture, Shell and Vivo Energy, who are serving the other countries. And we have the people, we have the products and we have the knowledge to serve the African market and uh, we have the aspiration to get number one for lubricants and transformer oil in Africa as well as we are for lubricants in the rest of the world already. Yeah, you work at, in the research department in Hamburg, um, right. what kind of breakthroughs or what interesting uh, things are coming out that one day may be applicable here? Yeah, I think we are very busy in enabling us to, to develop products out of the GTL technology. The products are a bit different, so the additive cocktail is different. Um, and what makes interesting is that we discover uh, quite often new features. Uh, for instance, the cooling properties. So customer showed us that uh, the cooling property of the LS4 is better than for conventional arsenic oils, what we did not expect. But that's a fact, they showed us the data. Mm. 
So what changes have you been seeing in the transform oil market in recent years? We have seen changes regarding the oil stress. So today, the oil are really is really stressed to the edge. So it's not there's no space, and that's <coughs> the reason um, high high grade oils are more and more used. It means inhibited oils product with a synthetic inhibitor to protect the oil against oxidation. And this trend we see at the moment, so moving from uninhibited oils with a comparable low oxidation stability to uninhibited or high-grade oils defined by the IC standard um, with an enhanced lifespan. Okay. What, um, what are the common problems that utilities face regarding um, transformation, transformer oil? In general, I would say transformers are quite reliable part, equip, parts of equipment. So the lifetime is long, and I said you 30 to 50 years. Mm. So this is for technical equipment a long lifespan. But there are of course issues regarding lifetime of the insulation. Insulation means paper plus oil. So when the oil is going to age, it ages also the paper. And when the paper is aged, it doesn't help to exchange the oil. You have to scrap the transformer because it doesn't isolate. And the other issue is I hear more and more about transformer fires. Right. So and even explosions. Okay. So there the Shell GTL transformer oil could help because of the higher flash point. Are those uh, globally or in one particular region? Those incidences? As far as I heard from the US but also from Africa. Okay. And would you what advice would you give to utilities that might hear that and be concerned? Um, I don't have the background about these fire events. They may, might be not related to the oil. I don't know that. So I cannot give you a particular mm. general advice here. Um, but for the lifetime of the oxidation stability, I really would advise everyone to use a high-grade oil passing the limits of the IC 6296. It's described in the standard. What else can utilities do to extend the lifespan and improve the performance of their transformers? <coughs> so, I think there are some obvious points. Just load the transformer up to the weighted power and um, have an eye on the oil and winding temperature to keep it as low as possible or maybe install new radiators and so on because when you have a reduction of 10 centigrades in a transformer oil, uh, you double more or less the lifetime of the oil. So the cooling has really a big influence. Mm. And of course, uh, high voltage impulses events, like lightning impulses or switching impulses, has to be avoided. Okay. Obviously, in South Africa, um, things are changing. There's more independent power producers coming on board. How do you think those changes will impact the transformer market? Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. I think, or I hope, there will be more an exchange of, of um, experiences with all, com with all utilities who will join the market. And of course, I think it will stabilize your, uh, your grid and make the energy more reliable and more. Yeah, go along with the increasing demand of power in South Africa. Mm. What about the rest of Africa? You know, thoughts on Nigeria, what they're doing there, or Kenya? Are there any other... Do you have any other insights that you can share about Shell's experiences? Um, not regarding transformers. Of course, we are running... Shell is one of the companies running most of the transformer of their own because uh, we use transformers in the oil-producing uh, equipment. So we use transformer in Nigeria, of course, but uh, these are our own transformers. And we are just starting to, to introduce our new GTL transformer oil in the other countries. Okay. We have filled transformers with the help of OEMs like Siemens. They were installed in Nigeria 
And I have okay. never heard about that. What is a good sign? It means okay. it's running. Okay. <laughs> So, I mean, there's a lot of African utilities come here look shopping for new hardware. Um, what advice would you, would you give them in terms of good equipment that will last that, you know, that will go that 30 to 50 years? What I have seen here, and I think this is a good sign, is equipment to, to, um, to enable the, the grid to react smarter than before. So there's all the metering things. So this is not related to transformers, mm. but I think even in times of maintenance cost cuts, uh, there should be an eye always also on the transformer maintenance mm. to have regular controls of the oil quality, of uh, do some electrical measurements to really maintain that the transformer fleet, what's quite aged anyway, would last for some more decades. Okay, so it does come down to maintenance. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much for sharing your insights. Thank you for the invitation. Um, that's all for now from uh, the Studio African Utility Week. <laughs>